Go. Did you ever find it hard in Iraq, my friend? Did. I do not want to talk about my experiences in that place. I reckon you should. It will be Man, good for you. It was a tough time. Oh, it was a tough old time for me out there in Iraq. My brother, we was at in the sticks fighting a crack elite troop of Iraqi towelhead warriors. And we was ambushed from the left no. by a reverse switch of pincer. And my brother Chunk got shot. No. And an explosion that removed his hand. And from blood loss, my brother died. That was the day my world ended. The day my brother Chunk died. I am so sorry, man. Why it did you get hard, this man. charge? My soul became a black pit of swirling nothingness. And that night, in my tent, in my sorrow, I tried and attempted to digest a grenade. You did not. Surely. But I was interrupted halfway point by the colonel who said, Boy, what the fuck are you doing eating that grenade? Stop that. You're honorably discharged because you are a danger to yourself and your fellow soldiers. Get your ass out of the army, boy. Here's $50 to spend on a hooker. That is some story there. It's my story, man. I'm a man of depth, passion, mystery, and flame. Right, there's the truth. I also have an enormous way. Tell me about your childhood, Johnny! Well, I ain't much to tell, really. I was just locked up in a crate for six years. Then I moved out of that crate. My parents said to me, they said, you're, trying, you're coming out of this. Can we do this again? <laughs> uh, not yet, sorry. <laughs> I need to pick up a backstory. Okay. One, two, three, go. Johnny, man, tell me about your childhood. Childhood, is it? Well, gee, I, I don't think there's much to tell, really. I guess for the first six years of my life, I was just locked up in the cupboard underneath the Cupboard, man? Why the shitting fuck were you locked up in a cupboard? I've been beating him with an ugly stick, man. My parents said to me, Johnny, if you ever went set foot outside and not there, outside world. So let's get this straight, man. Let's beam it on the zone. At birth, you were locked in a cupboard? <laughs> yeah, this is before birth. That's fucking harsh, man. My mom left me. She dug out of there. I mean, as a very embryo, you were extracted from the womb and manifested into a cabinet made of wood? Something like that. Shit! I then spent the next 20 years of my life watching Star Trek. Fuck! repeat. But I was forced to. Damn! And ever since then, I've been too scared to go outside and miss you. Star world. Trek's for homosexuals, man. That there ain't true. That said, that old Captain Janeway, I've seen some pornographic images of her on the internet, and I say she's got some mighty fine hooters. You leave Captain Janeway out of this. Sorry, man. I saw I would have been insane, man. Blakey, you need to turn the nose. I'll call. Something will fall. Wait, wait, wait. Ready. Now, just point and say, hey, what's that? What's that?
Sam, you have to say what you're saying. <laughs> Ready? What you saying, man? Right, look at the camera. Uh, just look at it and. See when. When. This here. Look at this. Ready. Ah. I'll take a shift, mate. Why? It is nothing but an Injun totem. Ah. Have no fear, Johnny boy. I shall get rid of it. I don't know. Okay. No. I just feeling about it. Say that now. It's a bad idea, man. Don't do it. Yeah. Go on, Max. Bad feeling about this. Say, are you recording that? Yeah, I'm ready now. I don't know, shape it. I got, I got a bad feeling about this. Nah, I'll deal with it. Got me in there? No. Fuck this shit, man! Not yet. <laughs> Ready when you are. <coughs> that was satisfying. Just walk up to him. Well, what do you think of that kick, man? I used to be a kicker for Boston... Bullhorn, the uh, Super Bowl team. Only great evil can come with this. Don't be a pansy man, it's just a fucking totem. An engine totem. Doesn't mean shit. I got a bad feeling, that's it. Man, I kicked it, nothing happened. If I can kick it, that means any bad shit comes out of it, I'll kick that too. I am the kicker, man. Fucking kicker. I guess so. Alright, let's go. Thank <laughs> you.